Yeah. And this is where, in a way, the idea of separation and this insanity of focusing on our uniqueness and our uh, specialness or needing to be special in some way or ne- that which is coming from a default denial of our, our, our divine perfection as embodiments of love. In a way, we are seeking on the outside for something which we already are. And so therefore, we're on, a, we're on an excursion in life, avoiding living in truth. And only when we live in truth can we allow others to live in truth. And can we together end the separation into oneness, experiencing oneness? And that's the kind of, I love paradoxes as well. It is and a paradox. And that's the paradox that, yeah. that we are seeking. There's something in us that kind of, you know, the ego that needs to be special, but we already are. Yeah. But we're just trying to do the things that will make us special rather yeah. than just, yeah. but I just am. Yeah. Because I'm a create, I'm here. I'm a yeah. creation. Mm. And I love the, the, the story that You're talks God's about. You're God's divine creation. You're not, it didn't happen by chance. You're made to no. measure, choreographed. Oh, millennia, we were brought together. We are stardust. We are literally stardust. <laughs> and it's not random. Again, I think everything has a purpose. Absolutely. So each of us in our own unique individualness, we were created for a purpose. Mm. And we might not fully understand that, but that doesn't matter. When we can just be it, it will happen and we will fulfill why we're here. But it's it's getting all of the other stuff out of the way, This the stuff, the baggage that life has thrown at us, society has thrown at us because we have been off balance. But we were programmed to be off balance as well. There's a there's a cultural societal programming as well, which which has served because it allows us to make the journey from what we are not to what we are. And uh, I mean, can you imagine just imagine if the whole world was to read your book and everybody was to increase the level, increase their claiming the inheritance of their divine potential and being love in the world. Imagine if each person showed up as love. I mean, look at the world we're in right now. Is that not the the solution? Is that not the medicine that we all need in our own little microcosms to then benefit the macrocosm? And I wish that this stuff was taught at school. Ah, yeah. And I think, again, in some pockets it is. And people, you know, kids at school are learning mindfulness, they're learning meditation, they're learning to explore with curiosity and compassion and to look at their emotions and express their emotions and how to be present and be comfortable with that. Yeah. Yeah, I think if we could all just even make a start on that i think that would make such a big difference absolutely if we could be aware of our vulnerability and not feel that we had to hide it if we could be aware of our shame and be able to talk about it because brene brown says shame can only exist when we're afraid of it and when we try to hide it like all the bogeymen we, well yeah all the <laughs> monsters under the bed <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And you look, put a, shine a light and actually there's nothing there. It's illusion. It's an illusion. 